guys uh, welcome to tech design in this uh, video i'm going to give a uh, final touch on move command so this is my last video on uh, move command uh, so previously i have explained you how to copy the components inside the move command so if you have not with, uh, seen the video you can go to uh, my channel and uh, you can check it out so i'm just going to open the same uh, assembly in order to explain you the other rest of the settings in the move command so here is the move command component window so as soon as you open here uh, there are some settings over here so i'm going to explain you uh, these settings how these works so some of the settings are not uh, related because since we have not created arrangement uh, uh, you will not understand until and unless you create an arrangements so what i'll do is i'll just uh, select the component so this is my component to move and i'm just moving it by uh, dynamically so you have the settings over here uh, if you expand this uh, you can see here uh, no copy is selected move selected components only so why this is checked box so suppose you have any uh, constraint between this cover and as well as this uh, bolt uh, in that case uh, when you move the bolt uh, the even the cover will also move accordingly uh, along with this uh, bolt so uh, in that case you can it will be useful if you can click move selected components only so whatever the components you will select only those components will be moved from uh, one place to another place so in the next we have is uh, like uh, animation steps this i uh, will explain you uh, uh, at the end of this uh, tutorial arrangements uh, uh, you can see here there is an arrangement which is an advanced version of uh, assembly i will uh, when i will go to the arrangements i will uh, explain you what uh, actually does this so now we have here is uh, the dynamic positioning also comes in arrangement so i will explain you when we are working on arrangements move curves and uh, routing objects and dynamic update of uh, routing object route uh, routing solids so this will come useful when you have a routing components or routing solids or routing objects in your uh, assemblies so uh, this is a uh, hope if you have uh, worked in electrical routings or any mechanical uh, uh, routings you will come to know that uh, there are some routing objects which will not create any constraint with the solids uh, suppose for example if you go to modeling uh, you have a sketch and there is an extrude so there will be always an uh, interlink between the sketch and uh, uh, the extrude in 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 actually in uh, uh, electrical routing or uh, mechanical routing there is no nothing like a sketch and uh, solid so uh, there will there will not there will not be any constraint between those two in order to uh, move the uh, routing objects you can just uh, highlight this so that uh, the routing objects and routing solids will update as well as it will move from one component one place to another place uh, by default so these two will help only when you have a routing so i will explain these two in the routing uh, uh, when i'm going to explain you electrical routing and as well as mechanical uh, routing so there is an option called uh, the last one is uh, the collision action is a none by default this will be a none so you want to select and highlight collision you can make it as use of it so how this works is suppose if you have any two components which uh, uh, suppose for example this is the selected component now and i want to move this along uh, y-axis suppose if i move along y-axis if it is found any collision it will highlight so i will just move this as you can see here so when i move uh, if there is a collision it will highlight so i will move here on the at the center of this component so as soon as it comes to center it will not highlight when i move again it will highlight so this is how this works uh, the, if you have if you check this uh, it will be helpful when uh, you are facing any collisions so for example if i move down and up uh, it is not showing any collision if i move along y axis so you can see uh, this is highlighted and there is a one more option over here uh, stop before collision so what happens is suppose you are um, moving it so it will not allow you to move because since there is a collision it will not allow you to move it will stop the movement so you can see here uh, it will stop the movement of the component suppose for example if it is here uh, it can move down because since it is a uh, uh, open area on the inside and if you want to move here uh, you can see the it, it is stopped you want to move even if it is a collision you can uh, you make a use of highlight collision and you can move it so 
So as soon as it will cross the collision, uh, uh, it will not highlight anything. And if you want, this is an acknowledgement, so you can acknowledge the uh, whatever the hidden it is there. Uh, you can you can move this. So once you acknowledge, and uh, you can move inside anywhere, and uh, you can place the component. So this is how guys works. Uh, this is just a facet solid or a quick facet. So if there is a facet uh, 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 collision, so it will highlight, and if it is solid, then it will. Uh, solid as well as the facet it will highlight you the different collisions now in boom command we are only left with the animation steps over here so by default this uh, steps will be one and uh, by the name uh, suggested uh, as per the name uh, uh, animation step is nothing but the number of steps it will take from move, uh, from one place to another place suppose for example i have selected this bolt and uh, from point to point so i'm selecting uh, from point as this and uh, two point as this and within a, a single step from here to here it will be moved suppose you want to make it as an animation you can give some more uh, uh, steps over here suppose for example i will give 50 and uh, let us enter it and now i will move it again from this point to uh, this point so as soon as you select you can see this uh, this is moved in a different animation steps so uh, this is the only use of that uh, other than that there is nothing useful so you can select from one point to another point so it will make uh, 50 individuals and uh, it will make uh, move component from one place to another place with the animations this is how guys complete to move command works so this is a very very useful uh, command when you are working on an assembly workbench so the move command always make sure and make uh, uh, note of it that the move command will not create any constraints so it is like a on the free air so it will be like you are just moving from component from one place to another place it will not create any constraints so uh, either you can after the moving also uh, you can able to move these components from one place to another place but in the assembly constraint it will not be like that it will create a constraint which will restrict the degrees of freedom so I think uh, I have explained everything in detail uh, about the move command. Hope you guys enjoyed all my videos. Uh, if you have not seen my previous videos on a move command, uh, please check it out from the first video. Uh, so it will be useful guys. Please share my videos as well as uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.